Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, which is quite important, we are going to see if we can determine the equation of a graph that they give to us. So they tell us that this is a sin graph, but they tell us that there's some letter. So this graph has either been moved upwards or it has been moved downwards. So what I like to do is the following. I know that a normal sin graph goes like this so it goes up to 1 and it goes down to minus 1. Now the highest value on this graph is a 0. I'm talking about the y value and the lowest value is a minus 2. So and on a normal sin graph it's 1 and minus 1. So what have they done to these two numbers to get them to become 0 and minus 2? Have they moved the graph upwards or downwards. Okay, well they've definitely moved it downwards. We can clearly see that that's a normal sin graph, whereas this graph has moved down. And what they've done is they've moved every single point down by 1. Because this highest value, if you minus 1 from that, it goes to 0. And if you minus 1 from this one, it goes to minus 2. And that is exactly what we have over here. So this pink graph is a normal sin graph that has been moved down by one unit. So its equation it will be y equals to sin x minus 1. Let's quickly take a look at the period, the range, the domain, and the amplitude. So the period for a sin graph is always 360 degrees in grade 10, no matter what. The range is the y value, so we say y e. Now the lowest value is minus 2, and the highest value is 0. So we can say it goes from minus 2 up to 0. The domain is the x values, and that you just need to look at what they've given you. Well, they've gone from minus 360 up to 360, like that. And then the amplitude, so now we need to find the resting position. The resting position is like the halfway point, which in this case is over here. So it has a y value of minus 1. We then look at the distance from that resting position to the highest point, which is over there. And so from minus 1 to 0, that's just a distance of 1. And so the amplitude for that graph is just going to be 1. Here is another example that we can try. So what I always like to do, they've told us that it's a sin graph that has been either moved upwards or downwards. We can clearly see that this graph has been moved upwards. So we look at a normal sin graph, and now a normal sin graph always goes between 1 and minus 1. This one has a highest value of 4, and its lowest value is 2, whereas normally it's minus 1 and 1. So what have they done to each of these values? So to get from minus 1 to 2, you add 3, and to get from 1 to 4, you add 3. So they have clearly moved this graph upwards by 3. So its equation will be y equals to sin x plus 3. Let's quickly have a look at the amplitude. So the amplitude, you should always know where the resting position is. That resting position, let me just try that again, is there. And it has a y value of 3. So you go up to the highest point, which has a y value of 4. Now the distance between 3 and 4 is only 1. The range is the y values. And we can see that the lowest y value is 2 and the highest y value is 4. The domain, that's the x value, so we can see that the most left x value is minus 360, and the most right one is positive 360, so we say from minus 360 up to 360 like that, and then the period for a sin graph is always 360 degrees. 